So what they say, these are neuroscientists. So when two people are in a loving relationship, or it doesn't have to be two people, it can be a dog or whatever, but there's a healer and a healy. And there's this experience going on of healing. If the healer lovingly pays attention to the patient or client, then there's something called, and you would know this, limbic resonance Mm -hmm. that happens. The emotional brain of the two start to resonate together. Mm -hmm. Then the healer's limbic, so that's level one, limbic resonance. Second level is the healer starts to regulate the patient's nervous system, neural networks, just by loving attention. Attention, Even without touching them? Without touching them. Attention, which means listening. Affection, which means I care. Appreciation, you're unique. A unique timeline of the universe. And a, 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 an acceptance. You are, you are, I love you irrespective of who you are. Attention, affection, appreciation, and acceptance. Mm-hmm. So then limbic, yeah. limbic resonance turns into re- limbic regulation. The neural networks start to rewire. And the last stage is limbic revision. Your brain changes. You've just, descri- you've just described healing. healing. You've described energetic healing. You've explained the reason why healers claim that they can talk to you on the phone Correct. and, and heal, heal you. you. 